Welcome to MCN and the new Motor Marini Sei Mezzo. Now Motor Marini, a lot of people will know from back in the day producing fantastic bikes are an Italian motorcycle manufacturer. In more recent times, in my kind of times as an MCN road tester over the last 20 years, I've known them best as producing kind of really leery big V-twins. Um, they're not doing that so much now. They're now Chinese owned um, since 2018. Um, they've come out with a new range of bikes that's kind of a combination of their italian know-how and their italian way of putting bikes together so these bikes are designed and developed in italy in their factory near milan but they're actually manufactured in china so the same mezzo means six and a half and the, the six and a half kind of pays homage to kind of 1970s motor marinis you had the three and a half didn't you um and the idea behind them is that they are cheap and cheerful but not in a bad way both of these bikes there's an str model and an scr model the scr is a scrambler the str is more of a roadster they're both under seven thousand pounds so they're very affordable um but the thing that's most surprising to me having just ridden them is how italian they feel you don't feel like they're cheap. You don't feel like they're a little bit messy around the edges. They don't fall apart. They're, they're tight. They're not clattery. They ride beautifully. And if you were to jump on one and, and someone tells you that this come out of the factory in Italy, you'd believe them because it's kind of got that real kind of genuine, authentic Italian motor marini feel. From the way it's equipped to the way it rides and handles, and to the way it goes to an extent so it's got a 650 cc parallel twin cylinder engine which makes 60 bhp which isn't a massive amount but you don't need huge power for bikes like these and that's one of their appeals they're kind of quite simple and easy to ride um the engine is made by cf moto in china which itself is kind of a reimagined kawasaki er6 engine um the engine is quite you know, you've got no complaints the way it acts. It's got a nice spread of power. The fuel is really nice. The only thing I'm not so keen on is a kind of droning, kind of quite dull exhaust note, which um, doesn't kind of befit the, the rest of the bike. But to be honest, it's not a big deal. It does, the engine is, is very nice and it does, it does get a lick on. It's quite quick off the line, Motor Marini claims 109 mile an hour out of it so it's not too shabby in the, the speed stakes but a bike like this you're only going to ride you know around town down to the coffee shop or whatever um, and that's exactly what you do with a more expensive Ducati Triumph or BMW um, you're not going to use all the performance of those kind of bikes or all their electronics um, and in many ways small manufacturers like Motor Marini and Fantic and Royal Enfield and BSA um, do sort of small retros are better than the big manufacturers because you don't need to spend a fortune for bikes like these you just want something simple to ride easy um, and affordable that's the main thing isn't it so the engine's nothing to write home about but it's nicely done um, but the thing that impresses me the most is just the way it rides and, and the equipment it's got so the bikes are kind of not too big not too small they're, they're quite manageable not too heavy um they're really nicely screwed together you don't they don't clatter and shake and rattle and roll as you're going along the handling is quite nice and tight actually the handling is pretty impressive fully adjustable suspension um you can feel it's got the kind of the know-how of the the motor marini engineers that developed it a lot like the big old v-twins that i've ridden before it's kind of got that same kind of feel the bikes love corner speed the brakes are really good on them they've got brembos but they're not um hindered by abs too much the ride quality is is nice and plush on the scrambler version the ride quality is a lot plusher than the str the roadster version um and they're comfortable as well the riding positions are spot on um, and they're just really enjoyable easy bikes to ride equipment wise is where these things really really impress so you know bear in mind they're under seven thousand pounds you get led lights all around you get backlit switch gear buttons you get a five inch colored dash 
You get fully adjustable KA with suspension, Brembo calipers, Bosch ABS. On the Scrambler version, you get Pirelli MT60R tires. On the Roadster version, you get Pirelli Angel GT Sports Touring tires. You know, it's a lot of bike for the money. The sort of the direct rivals for the Scrambler. The Scrambler's my pick of these two, actually. The, the riding position slightly nicer. It seems to steer a little bit faster. Maybe the profile of the off-road tires is a little bit sharper. Um, and it's got a little fly screen as well. So, you know, the rival for the Scrambler would be something like the Fantic Caballero. But that's, um, that's a single 500. That's probably got a little bit more character in the engine department. A little bit more playful. Um, you've got the CF Moto 700 CLX. I haven't ridden it myself, although I've heard good things, mainly. It can be a little bit unreliable sometimes. Um, and like I said before, it's cheaper than all the Ducatis, all the BMWs and all the Triumphs. So overall, these two motor marinas are really nicely built, really well equipped, lovely to ride although the engine does let the side down a little bit in terms of its character and probably overall oomph. But the way the engine behaves isn't the end of the world because this is a really, really great bike or pair of bikes and a really nice way to revive Motor Marini's fortunes. <laughs>